Hi, this is Lou Pulsifer to talk about the difference between resource management and logistics because I've been known to say that resource management games are not war games at all. And in fact, at some point I tweeted, war games are much more about generalship than about war. Resource management games like Hearts of Iron aren't even about generalship. Fake. And the first part of that remark is that war games can't represent war but can try to represent generalship. And I've talked about that in other parts of my course. Someone replied equating logistics, which is part of generalship, with resource management, which is economics. And I pointed out that they're two very different things and decided to make this screencast to describe how that works. The summary is logistics is part of generalship, enabling your units or assets to survive and perform at full capability. And that's the same thing any supervisor tries to do. They want their employees to perform to their maximum potential. And that's part of a general's job. And he can do that by making sure that they have the tools and the other things that they need. Logistics involves stockpiling the necessary supplies and then getting them to the units that need them. On the other hand, resource management is economic. Producing more units and researching better technologies. It's not a military function at all, though it can be vital in long wars because the longer a war is, the more likely it is to become economic. So, the part of logistics that is most obviously generalship is supply lines. One of the quicker ways to defeat an enemy is to cut off their supply lines, as happened to the Germans at Stalingrad and had happened to the Soviets many times early in the war as the Germans penetrated deep into the Soviet Union. You can't fight well if you're hungry, even less if you're thirsty, and you can't fight at all in the modern world without ammunition. But needing ammunition is not exclusively a modern world thing. Even at the time of Agincourt, the English needed a big arrow supply in order to be able to defeat the French. Protecting your supply routes and threatening your enemies is part of generalship. But the generalship doesn't ca general doesn't cause supplies to be produced. He only uses what comes to him from the home front. Now, the farther back you go in time, the less technological you get, the more a general can do to help. For example, spending his own money to acquire food that's there but that can't be taken away from the people who have it, perhaps you're in your home territories. Stockpiling is a major part of logistics. Stockpiling items and then protecting them so they can be delivered to the troops or ships or planes. I'm speaking here mostly about the land, but you have logistics, of course, in on the sea and in the air. Secure supply lines don't help if there's nothing to move them along, if you don't have anything stockpiled. As part of the stockpiling, you tell someone farther up the line what you need. That doesn't mean they can deliver it, but that's not the general's function to take care of that. It's a resource management function. Now, resource management is economic. It's not part of generalship. Although the, the fuzzy area there is protecting things when they're going from the home front or where they're produced to the stockpiles. So resource management is about production of war materials and weapons of all kinds, like those arrows that the English needed. In long wars, which are often economic, the top generals and admirals are going to have a lot of input into what is produced, but they won't be involved in the production. If the war is decided quickly, then production may not be important. If there's just a single battle and that determines the war, which happens occasionally in history. In the modern age, resource management is also about research and production of new weapons, such as radar, proximity fuses, jet fighters, even King Tigers, to take examples from World War II. Whoever's in charge of resource management, and usually that's a civilian or group of civilians, not military, needs to make the best use of resources to produce war material and research better weapons. What are the resources? Production capacities such as factories, labor, raw materials, anything else that contributes to production. 
Somewhere in there, probably fuel is important because that's involved in delivering things to where they need to be. So logistics is vital at the front while resource management is vital in the rear, far in the rear, or more likely at home. Thanks for listening.